So we've looked at a few boards from Durgod before, and in my mind, they've always brought something unique to the space and some solid build quality. Well, they're back now with the Venus, and it's a pretty straightforward layout. It is the build quality we've come to expect from Durgod, but they're coming into a really crowded market. We're going to see if they have what it takes to compete against some of the big names in small boards. You ready? Let's go! Yo, I'm Brian P. You're watching Bad Seed Tech, and today we're checking out the Venus 60% keyboard from Durgat. Retailing for $119.99 US, it squares right up against the Ducky Mecha Mini, which we've looked at recently. Inside the box, we've got a dust cover, a keycap puller, two cables, one USA to USB-C, and one USB-C to USB-C, and one coaster that looks like it's made out of mouse pad material. We've got standard 60% layout here with an aluminum frame. There's no height adjust here, just a solid block with some rubber feet to help it stay put. Pretty thin bezel here with just a slightly larger forehead to accommodate the indicator LEDs. Not exactly floating switch. It feels nice and stable, weighs in right around 750 grams. Only knocks for this is that the finish of this board is not quite on par with the Mecha Mini. Couple little rust spots here. Recess connection here for USB-C, plenty of room for any and all aftermarket cables, so no issues there. We've got standard 60% layout, which means any Cherry MX compatible aftermarket keycaps will work here. Replacement caps will be less of a concern though, as these are PBT. I like the profile too. They look like they have some texture to them, but they don't. They're actually really smooth. Font is really clean too, not gamery, no big thick OEM characters nice and clean. Switch options for this board are plentiful too. Cherry black, blue, brown, and red. No silent red. Gat blue, red, and brown, and silent brown, my personal fave. And four different flavors of kale, including those thick clicks, the box jade. Pretty impressive lineup. No hot swap here, sadly. The plate is like this textured, shiny silver aluminum, so it's pretty reflective RGB-wise like a white plate would be. Stabs here are solid as well with heavy factory lube. This is something that Durgod does well on all their boards. They sound and feel great. You may have noticed in that sound test that for an aluminum board, case ping is virtually non-existent here. That's because they include a layer of dampening material inside the case goes a long way. Functionally, the way the keyboard handles arrows is a bit different. You can activate a mode where you get tap access on the right shift cluster, similar to how Ant Pro 2 does this. It's live on the default layer all the time too, which is cool. It does a good job of preserving the base function of these keys as well. It's got just a slight delay, which still allows for the use of like the right shift key when you're typing, for example. Unfortunately, that's hard for me to demonstrate for you on this board in particular. This copy was one of the first five ever made, and it has a lengthier delay built in. It's been corrected on the retail copy, so any retail copy you see, any copy going forward has that corrected and it works great. The only downside to the arrows whatsoever is that you can't hold down one of the keys and have that cursor continue to move. So it's like a one tap for one space type situation. I've grown accustomed to having arrow keys on my IJKL and using caps as a function key. There are no dip switches on the Venus to help you accomplish this, but with the Hera compiler software, you can basically set this up however you want. Hera also provides access to the different lighting modes and the lighting here all looks very good. Great saturation, good customization options. That backplate really punches it in. And as long as you don't mind the software, it's much easier to adjust at a glance than the Ducky Mecha Mini. In fact, the Mecha Mini is basically the competition for this board. So that's going to be the question, right? This or the Ducky Mecha Mini? Well, I hate to break it to you, but there's not a clear victor here. First question you have to ask yourself is about switch selection. You want Gateron or Kale? Gotta go Durgod. You want height adjust on the aluminum case? Ducky. You want software for reassignment and RGB control? Durgod. I will say that I think the Ducky keycaps have a higher end look than the Durgod, and you get some backlit accent keys and an alternate spacebar. Durgod has that tap arrow cluster though, Ducky does not. Outside of that, the experience is largely similar. Both support aftermarket keycaps, aftermarket cables, neither has pronounced case ping, RGB saturation is slightly better on the Ducky, stabilizers feel and sound slightly better on the Durgod. It's a slugfest. They're very evenly matched. If the Durgod came in closer to 99 bucks, we'd see a real 
old battle here, but dollar to dollar, I think Ducky has the name recognition on its side. So Durgod continues to impress. If you're looking for a small form factor board with an aluminum case, and you want some switch options outside your regular Cherry MX flavors, and you'd like access to some software for some deep customization, you really can't go wrong with the Durgod Venus. And if you're looking at this board, Versus some others for comparison, if you're looking at a board with an aluminum case versus a plastic case, I would recommend you go aluminum if your budget allows. As always, links to everything we talked about today down in the description. Any questions, hit me in the comments or drop by the Discord. And that's it for this time. I'm Brian P. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to hit that like button, hit that sub button. And until next time, stay up.